right after installing Confluence or starting using Confluence as an administrator, you have to deal with how to structure your Confluence uh, for your users. And basically structuring the content goes through creating spaces. So um, the first thing you want to do is to create a space. Actually, in new Confluence instances, you'll find a so-called demonstration space, but um, uh, you want to have your new content sit in a separate space that you can also export. Let's assume that you start off with a Swift instance. Um, you just fill out this form, then you get your empty Confluence instance. You log in um, uh, to an um, instance, a little bit blue, but um, uh, you'll see that create space button up here. You click on that. And then the first thing you get is um, a possibility to choose a space template. At this point, I would ask you to just ignore that. Just use the blank space. Space templates help you to structure your space, um, which can be helpful if you um, want to um, just populate some data um, in a way that someone has prepared. So you may be creating space templates yourself later. But for now, we just use a blank space, which will uh, create a, actually a blank space. So what you always need to do is you have to provide a name, test space x, y, z, um, and you have to give a um, space key. So and this key cannot be changed later. So be sure to use something one short and meaningful. Could be or something and then you can say it should only be visible to me you can add other people to watch that uh, basically if you're not something where there's a legal or company requirement to keep it close uh, leave the space open because you want the collaboration uh, with the content you want others to be able to see that you want others to comment on it and to interact with the content so um, choosing to limit the accessibility is always something that is forced upon you. You you basically don't want to do that. Um, uh, and you may think otherwise. Uh, we have other videos dealing with that. For now, you just hit the create button and then you create the space. I won't do that because this is our production instance here. But if I click on spaces, you see that we have different spaces here and um, they form the basic structure. Um, so you could create more spaces, a home space, a, a department one and department two space. Don't create too many spaces uh, at first. Actually, what you only need is one space. Don't use the demonstration space because you may want to export things. Coming back to my Swift example, if you have a Swiss, Swift instance, you may want to export um, the data to use it behind the firewall afterwards. Uh, we can help you doing that, uh, but it's helpful if you have your own space there. So um, basically, after that, you can create pages, which is another video here. Um, but this video in a nutshell, if you're new to Confluence, if you're an administrator, the first thing in Confluence you want to do is think about what spaces do I need, like which spaces to put my wiki pages in do I need, and create the first one, and then you can uh, start creating um, content. And yeah, just go ahead and do that. Thanks. Bye.